Good morning, everybody. You're very welcome to today's press conference on the launch of the European Tax Observatory. I'm delighted to be, well, to be joined in the European Commission's press room today by Commissioner Gentiloni, uh, Gabriel Zuckmann, the Director of the EU Tax Observatory, Mr. Paul Tang, Member of the European Parliament and Chair of the Parliament's Subcommittee on Tax Matters, and Mr. Sven Giegold, MEP, who's also the sponsor of this initiative. We'll have opening statements from each of the four participants today, and then we'll take a few questions from the floor. Commissioner, over to you first. Uh, well, thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. I'm really pleased to, to, to be here to, to launch this uh, initiative. You know that the fight against tax evasion, tax avoidance, and aggressive tax planning is a priority for this commission and for me. Uh, and also, you know very well that progress in this uh, kind of agenda has often been accelerated by uh, investigations that, that you, the journalists, uh, the press, have conducted. So by exposing weaknesses and creating pressure on, on policymakers, on us to react, uh, journaling has been a great propeller of, of positive change. Over the past few years, we have achieved uh, a certain amount in terms of reinforcing Europe's defense against tax abuse, including building a robust new framework of tax transparency and anti-avoidance measures. And as a result, Europe now has some of the highest standard in, and toughest measures in the world in this area. But of course, the, this doesn't mean that we can be complacent. Tax evasion, avoidance, and aggressive tax planning are still there. And now, as we focus on the recovery after the pandemic and on massive investment needed to deliver the green and digital transitions, uh, fair taxation is more important than ever. We need to further strengthen our armory against tax abuse. Last summer, we published a tax package with initiatives to help tax authorities to better exploit data and share it more efficiently to improve the enforcement of tax rules and help combat tax fraud and evasion. And just two weeks ago, I presented our communication on business taxation, which contains ambitious targets and plans to reform corporate taxation over the coming years. And you know that we have now unprecedented opportunities to reach uh, agreement on international taxation at a global level. The European Parliament has played a hugely important role in our common effort to make taxation fairer and simpler. So I could not be more pleased to be joined today by um, uh, Honorable Paul Tank, Chair of the Subcommittee on Tax Matters, and Sven Giegel, the person who championed the important project we are announcing today. The launch of the European Tax Observatory represents another important step on our path to fairer taxation. Hosted at the Paris School of Economics and headed by Professor Zuckmann, welcome here in, in the Berlemont, the observatory will support us in our work and you in yours by conducting cutting edge research and analysis and providing important data that we can inform our policy. Although funded by the EU, the observatory will be fully independent and we trust that it will be objective in conducting its work. We count on it to provide impartial, high-quality research without any political or policy-driven motivations. The observatory will organize events and invite the wider stakeholder community to engage in open, inclusive, and pluralistic debate on the issues it is addressing. And this should make it a hub of new ideas for combating tax avoidance and evasion and an international reference point when it comes to taxation in our globalized work, world. And it could, couldn't have been more timely, I think, that now. And so let, 
me conclude wishing the observatory the best of luck. And thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Over to you.